another extremely competitive, tough game, uh, typical SEC game. And we knew it would be when you came here and you knew that if you left any life in them, they were going to fight and scratch and claw, and that's what they always do. And uh, we did that. We played excellent football for three quarters. I thought we play, you know, played, ran the football much better this week. I uh, thought we stopped the run much, much better this week. Uh, played that, uh, you know, got points, scored touchdowns in the red zone, converted, moved the ball. And then in the fourth quarter, we had opportunities to put the game away as far as, you know, two, there was two or three drives about midfield to the 35, 40. You got not in the red, just got hung up, whether it was ahead of missed assignment, dropped ball, missed block, something that we didn't finish to drive. Punt them down, defense played well, and we did a good job. And then uh, defense, we, defense, we played great for three quarters and then give up two drives. And we have to stop, and they have to start throwing the football, and we didn't generate enough rush. And then we give up the pass plays, had a bust assignment in the middle on that last one on that little crossing route, and they got through. And then on the special teams, I mean, we, even though we're critical, we're down there driving in the red zone. We miss a f uh, field goal from 30 yards, put you up 13, which changes everything. And then we give up a punt return on a – we got to – they switched the punt, ran it over, and ran the other gunner there. But the, the gunner was right there beside him, and, you know, we don't make a tackle. And they catch it and get a great punt return, and they got momentum of the game. And they got it at home, and that's what you can't do when you're a road team, and you got to finish. Uh, Again, I thought we moved the football on offense. Uh, I thought, you know, the first turnover, I mean, we shouldn't have dropped the pitch, should have just ate it and kept it. But then, then the last interception we should have thrown, we get it or nobody gets it. But it's still a 70-yard drive. It's, it's like, it was on, I think, their 30, I think, something like that. It wasn't, it wasn't in a point situation like the other, but it gave them momentum where we'd had to punt the ball anyway. But uh, we could have punted it maybe down to the 10 or 15 or whatever we did before. But uh, then, you know, they give up two, we give up two big drives. And on that, so we have to learn to finish. We, we leave hope in the game and not get up three scores and they keep battling. Our, listen, our kids are playing hard. We're getting better in a lot of areas. We're playing more physical. We ran the ball. Things went well in a lot of areas. Guys made plays. Different guys made plays. And, uh, you know, stole two minutes before the half. We get a big drive right before half. We come out to start the second half, get a touchdown drive the second half, you know, and get up. And, and we're down, we were down three and go up ten right off the bat and then continually move the football. And, you know, I, let's say that when you, when you get there, you got to put those things away and, and uh, finish those drives. And then you got to keep stopping them on defense. And, uh, you know, they made, they made critical plays at the right time when, when they had to make them and, and what they did. So, questions? We we'll have to regroup and get back and, and find out, you know, find those inches. We got to find those that one more play or two more plays or three more plays in the game that we need to have. Did you feel like the game hinged or turned on that interception? No, I don't think it hinged on that because it was still a 70-yard drive. You're still up uh, 10 points in the game. I mean, and it's a momentum, but you, you still because you threw it there, it was it was going to be a throwaway and a punt. Is what you know. We tried to miss a little higher. Tried to miss on the back shoulder and should have missed higher, but. Uh, I don't think it changed. I mean, the momentum for them did change. I mean, they got the drive, but, you know, you still can stop them. They're going 70 yards. It's not like you gave it to them right there in point range like the first one would happen on, on that one. But as far as it did, it did it did turn in. I mean, that's when they drove and scored. And then we – what I was happy about, we come back out. We got two critical first downs right off the bat off of with the four-minute things. We got a, two, a critical first down, picked up a great th short yardage, uh, you know, on a third and one, you know, and then, then got stuffed and then uh, couldn't, get, couldn't get anything going on the next one. How big was the 36-yard miss by seven? I mean, it was critical. I mean, because that's 13, and you know, at the end, because right there, I didn't, I couldn't say. I think that what they call one, I guess, on the sideline, he got pushed out or stepped out. Because otherwise, if he catches that ball there, you're at the 30. It was down about the 30 yard line. You have a chance to, you know, get the ball to the end zone on two plays and see what happens. So, so I mean, we had opportunities, but that, that you know, and if you'd had that, you could have kicked a field goal. So, but you know, those those are all critical miss because it makes it two touchdowns instead of a touchdown field goal and how you do things. But they scored two touchdowns, but. You know, that's still with the momentum of the game and doing things. That, that was, it was a big part of it, too. I mean, it's not it, all three phases. Yeah, well, we know you love Kellen, but it's <coughs> kind of playing in a little box right now in terms of not really being able to spread the field. How, how do you kind of work? Well, we got to get open. Well, I mean, the other thing is, I mean, I mean, you're in one-on-one -on -one battles and we throw goes and, you know, it's not just there. we got to get open at receiver, too. I mean, it's got to be a mix of everything. But we still move. See, we threw the ball for 220, ran it for 210. We had great balance, do things. Uh, screen game was good. Uh, you know, got to get a little more what we have catches-wise. Travion had some nice catches there. Jace had some. Cameron, Cam got losing. Cam hurts a little bit too because he had the ball down the field. We were hitting it down the field there. Courtney had a couple. We got to, we got to win those one-on-one -on -one battles. We had a couple go routes and Chinas and, and things that we had there that, uh, you know, we got to make some plays down there too in, in that regard also. What happened but also his legs was, is also a big part of why we're having a lot of success. I mean, his, him running and pulling, and there's a lot of big-time reads when you're reading that in, and that helps. Our, that's why our running game is going, too, because it puts pressure on those ends. they got to play him. Can't play a guy in the box, so it works two ways. What happened to Cam? I got dinged up. They, they said he had a head, head injury and it was a possible concussion, so you know, they're not, we, we don't want to take any chances on anything like that. He'll be reevaluated. Was there any update on Eric McCoy? Yeah, he went back in the game. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he came back in the game.
I mean, I'm sure he'll be banged and sore out after reevaluate afterwards, but he came back in the game. Was so Bebion injured? Who? on Renfro? He didn't play anything. No, they, they, no, he, he was, he was fine. Okay. He was fine. Why did you decide to start Miles over Bebion? Well, that, that, Miles they just been doing a good job, and you know, Mike and them wanted to go in that regard, so that's where they wanted to go. And then Bebion's fine. He'll be fine. He'll play, and he'll do everything. Now, Miles played a really good game. I mean, he did some great things. <clears throat> That's what I said. We had the ball, and we moved the ball. We get a first down, two down, and then we we couldn't get it to that point range. We couldn't finish, and that's critical. Leaving a hope in the game. That's why I said we need to go up and get three scores. That's what we needed to get that. On the third and nine on the first drive of the fourth quarter, is that something that you went out empty? Did they, did uh, Kellen check something on the line? There? Yeah, he did because they saw protection in the blitz and the way they were coming, trying to get it picked up, and we had some call. Run that at first or was it no, no. Well, I can't. I ain't gonna say all that, but it was it was it was a pass. It was a pass to a pass, and we had to get to a protection where we could get a hat to a hat and block it, depending on what they you know they came with the what they were gonna come with with the possible blitz, and then we we knew what they were gonna do. And we got hit. It. We got protected a little better. We actually got a guy on it. We got just got beat on the protection. So are you saying you're immediate evaluation without seeing the film, obviously, of, of Kellen is that he has sound Oh, I don't know that. I'm not saying until I watch the film. There's a lot of plays you'd like to have back. There's two or three plays in there, but until I see what he saw, you can't make that judgment. you got to come off communicating and you see what he saw in the game and look at the film. I mean, no, he did not play his best game, but he made some great plays, made some great runs, made some great decisions, made a couple of nice throws. But we'll look at the film and evaluate where he, where he played and what he did. And his legs were a big part of why we were able to run the football. More, more breakdowns on the 28-yard return on the punt return, and then man ends up making the Tackle. Yeah, I mean they 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 run us. They run the returner over, and we have still the gunner there. They run the guy was blocking the gunner, turn to catch it, and we're down and ready to catch a punt. He just he froze, and you know, we didn't make it. So got to look at that. I mean, it was a scheme in which they run it over, but we still had guys there. They just didn't see it and make the play. Coach, in the first half, what was making the offense click so well? Well, I think bounce. We were running the football. Kellen's pulling the ball, running. We're running it up inside, and then we were hitting passes, and we had balance. And you know that that three way go, and that really opened up our running game. It's his legs to the outside. And what we were doing. How good was Travion today, and how much did you need that downstream? Oh, he's playing really good. I mean, he blocked well, he caught well. I think he had five catches, 75 yards, I guess, here, 107 rushing. I mean, we, we wanted to get it to him. We got him about 20, 25 touches a game, and, and how we're doing it. And he's doing a really good job. How do you get this team to finish? We got to keep practicing, got to keep showing, got to educate them, and, gotta, and they got to find a way to just fight through it. At the end of the day, you can get, you, they want to, and they play, they just got to relax and do it. And it's got to put them in that situation. I mean, it's got to happen. I mean, you know, you got to just, let it happen. There's no magical form. There's no magical dust. Is relax and keep playing like you did in the third quarter. Quit worrying about results of the game and play the game. Play the next play. Like it's 0-0 zero, zero on the scoreboard. Don't look at the scoreboard. Don't care about it. And gut it out and, and put it away. And then you get three scores and you get four and you learn, you learn to do that. And we have to do that. Coach, can you talk a little bit about the next to last position, the, the two throws there when uh, you still have the lead? Because we got stoned. Because they had one timeout left and they went to second and ten. Yeah. And uh, – and we're trying to get a first. We thought we get one more first down. We, and they were putting ten guys, nine to ten guys in the box, and you couldn't have a guy. There was no way to block all the guys they have. I mean, that's what you call zero, right? And how they're starting to play guys and knowing you're going to play it. And that's why we got two first downs before that. We ran it and picked it up. We had two critical first downs. On first down, we got I think negative yard or with second and nine or second and whatever. We went to a high percentage throw, and how we do it and got to hit it, you know, get it out and got pressure. We got beat on a we got beat on a rush. And we have a chance to, you know, dump it down, pick up five or six yards and get a first down. you got to play. You can't get too conservative there because they only end up with one timeout when they had to come back. So, I mean, they were calling them. They called two. And uh, so we have to, you know, you can't, you can't, you got to get a first down. If we get a first down there, it ends the game. You ain't punting it and you ain't because you don't turn it over to your defense. I mean, still we punted the ball. No matter what you said, you still punted it and gave up the punt return. So, and what happened? So we're thinking get a first down and us keep the ball and them not get it. End the game. Anything else?